Hey y'all, it's Barbara. So listen, I hadn't seen y'all or said hey y'all in about two weeks because I was on a journey. I was on a, a whole assignment and uh, if most of y'all follow me as I follow Jesus Christ, I was on an assignment with my cousin Alicia, y'all, and at the time, I didn't know it was an assignment, but it was. So, anyway, the day, so on April 16th, that morning I got up, I think that was my last video that I did with y'all, I was feeling all good, and like, I literally know that that was my best workout ever. So that was on the 16th, on a Tuesday. So y'all, after I got the working out, I get home, make me a protein shake, like a, a vegan. It wasn't vegan. It was one of them words we use if I was supposed to be all healthy and stuff. So I make, whew, make my shake, and I drink my shake. And y'all, soon as I drank my shake, the whole house started turning. Y'all ain't never experienced no crap like that before. My, I started throwing up, did, and I said earlier, and I'm gonna say it again. Y'all know what Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz had. Dorothy had vertigo. So anyway, threw up, couldn't go to work because every time I moved, the room would move. I'm like, oh my god. Say, like, Lord, I'm gonna need my brain. Like it was just crazy. So next week no let me let me back up so that was on tuesday so i had been praying for my cousin alicia just believing god for a miracle and that night alicia passed away but what's so supernatural about god is this y'all i'm gonna tell you how strategic and how precise he is how he don't miss a beat or a point so let me tell you what happened and then i'm gonna get on back in these uber streets so when back when, when I was growing up, Alicia's granddad, which is her mom's daddy, his name is Uncle IV. Y'all, he had a CB and he would always get on there 10 4 over an hour. 10 4 good buddy. Break a 1 9 for the radio check. You know, that's what CB folk did. And so he would always come to our house and he was like my mama's favorite uncle i don't know how he would find my mama i don't care where my mama was uncle iv was coming for my mama and, and back then my uncle used to drink but before he left here he got saved for real for real with the evidence of speaking in tongues so anyway fast forward to alicia y'all alicia passed away on that on that um tuesday on the 16th at 10 4 good buddy over and out and what god y'all can't make it up on my good day but what god is saying for a lot of us in this season 10 4 job well done and 10 4 over and out means that there is no response needed like after he has communicated everything for us to do to be to go to say to whatever it's 10 4 the number 10 is a position like 10 centimeters it's birthing time it's 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 time to like some of us i think my baby was breached my baby was turned backwards or something because i'm just i just been slow about not slow about what god has called me to do but now i know i'm right where god has anointed me to be ordained me to be and, and i'm in position and the number four y'all number four is one of god's numbers like all of them are his numbers but the number four is direction so north south east and west the sun wind moon whatever that other one is it's four of them that kind of thing and so if we are paying attention to what's going on in the earth we know that god is moving something and actually i believe that god has come down he's literally come down and then pay attention y'all people are dying folk just ain't waking up folk them heart attacks and strokes, they taking over. And that's what I thought I was having. I'm like, is you coming to get me? But let me tell you what he told me the other day. He said, 
I had to allow it to happen this way because your ear is a part of the body that um, I can get your attention. And then I needed you to rest. I needed you to sit down and lay down and shut up for a season. He said, because where I'm, I'm getting ready to take you, I needed you to rest. So anyway, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. And, um, you know, in my spirit, I feel like somebody said, hey, you shouldn't have told him that. Me and the Holy Ghost ain't scared of y'all. I know he ain't. I know I ain't. So anyway, uh, number 10, we're about to push this thing on forward, whatever it is. And that's a lot of stuff. And, um, yeah, 10-4 is what Alicia's granddaddy used to always say. And my cousin passed away. Her death time was 10-04 on August 16th. 16th. Um, but on Friday, we had a absolute beautiful home going celebration uh god showed up in a, in a supernatural way as only he could and one of the words that i was able to share with the folk is y'all need to get your raggedy life together in the name of jesus no shade and then all of us at some point the bible talked about us being a filthy rag it didn't call us a raggedy rag but we all got some stuff that we have to work on People are dying in the church, going straight to hell, and folk with the oil, with the anointing, with the Holy Ghost, ain't said a word, because we worried about hurting your feelings. I'd rather hurt your feelings than have your soul go straight to hell, and I had the very words of life in my mouth to get you delivered. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? I ain't playing with it. I ain't playing with it, but anyway, I got to go to work. It's hot out here. I'm sitting in this car. I don't even know what the temperature is, but um, yeah. So that's the word of the day. And I'm I'm going to come more and share what thus said the Lord. And yeah, get get your life together. Doing um uh, my cousin's home going celebration, you know, they were singing something. And the Lord told me to quit clapping my hands. He said, look around. I'm looking. I'm like, oh, Jesus, I hear you. I hear you. He said, most of these people don't know me. I said, shut up. He said, you know that part in the Bible is talking about depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I don't know you. He said, that's going on right now. I'm like, he said, I need you to start praying. I'm like, shit, oh, boy, what? What? Today? But after, after, after church... A lady walked up to me. She told me her name, and she's like, I'm living a raggedy life. If it was just that one person, I could tell you her name, first and last name. We we friends on Facebook. I could tell you, but I won't because I, I will reach out to her, and I will pray for her because of the sincerity from her heart. She said, you were talking to me. I'm raggedy. And I know it. And I'm thinking she was wanting me to pray with her right then. We 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 processing. We coming out of here. But I did tell her that um, I was praying, and I'm definitely praying. And then I had my friend pray for her. I told her the name. So anyway, y'all, happy Monday. I'm back in stride again. I am doing it again. Uh, I feel good. Look at it. But yeah, I feel good in the name of Jesus. So anyway, happy Monday, y'all. I will see you in my next video and God bless.